गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई वेलकम यू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द हिस्ट्री चैप्टर टू द बर्थ ऑफ प्रोफेट मोहम्मद एंड द स्प्रेड ऑफ इस्लाम वी हैड लर्न अबाउट द बर्थ ऑफ प्रोफेट मोहम्मद एंड वी हैड स्टडीड ऑल्सो अबाउट हिज बर्थ एंड हिज मूवमेंट फ्रॉम मक्का टू मदीना विच नॉन एज ए हिजरत and the calendar who had started it is known as a hijri and the principal six principles of the islam we had already learned today we will learn and study and try to understand about the spread of islam abu bakr mobilized and transformed the arabs into an excellent fighting force abu bakr was a successor of Moh Prophet Muhammad. He had mobilized a force to conquer and convert and spread the Islam. He and his successor inspired the Arab armies to sweep across countries and continents and carry the word of Allah throughout the world. Means. they have message of allah spread into to arabia country and then central asian countries inspired by missionary z the invincible and extraordinary arab armies conquered vast territories their empire stretches over iran Syria, Central Asia, North Africa, and Spain. Means gradually, the Abu Bakr's army they had expanded their territories, and the Islamic religion also had been expanded because these territories people accepted Islam, converted into Islam. Because we last class we had studied, there are the uh, tribals those who were in Arab, they were superstitious, unbiswasi, they were uh, worshiping various god. But the Prophet Muhammad emphasized only one god. So the people believed on that and be became a large number of the people became a follower of Prophet Muhammad and became a. Islam religious person having conquered such ex expansive territories these tough and hard hardened warriors settled down and adopted a new way of life they built fine cities such as damascus baghdad and cairo encouraged agriculture industry and trade and above all they developed a magnificent and vibrant civilization means the islamic pe people followers of the prophet muhammad they were the pupils of the prophet muhammad they emphasis always about agriculture industries and the trade because they wanted to develop develop now we will see about uh, two of the dynasties they were the major responsible uh, dynasties which spread islam into the south and the south south west asian countries the abbasid and the umayyad dynasties the greatest intellectual and cultural excellence was seen during the reign of the abbasid caliphs as i told you caliph means khalifa head religious guru of muslim the umayyad caliph who preceded the abbasids had established their capital at damascus the abbasid shifted the caliphate from damascus to baghdad the capital of present day iraq at in the beginning it was known as in mesopotamia for the next 150 years the arab empire under the abbasid 
emerged as one of the most powerful, prosperous and enlightened regions of in the world. The Arabs absorbed and assimilated the best of what other cultures and civilizations had to offer in terms of idea, skills and scientific knowledge. Means these Muslim people, those are followers of the Prophet Muhammad, they learn from different different civilizations. Different civilizations means they learn from Greek civilization, Byzantine, Egypt, Chinese, Indians, and even the Persian civilization. And more they have learned about the culture and then faith from Christians and Jews. Muhammad had advised the Arabs to pursue learning. Means he had always taking a keen interest about learning. Means acquiring the knowledge from various civilizations. One of the Abbasid caliphs established a house of wisdom at Baghdad to translate into Arabic the collections, collective wisdom of various ancient civilizations such as the Greeks, Byzantine, uh, Egyptian, Chinese, Indian, and Persian civilizations. Means the Abbasid caliphs established the house of wisdom at Baghdad. Means there were the wise people, scholars, Muslim scholars were uh, sitting there and their work was to translate to other languages books, other civilizations people, they have written in the various languages, Latin language, Greek language, uh, Mesopotam Mesopotamian language, means Persian language, Indian culture, they have translated to the books into the Arab language to make easy to understand the Islamic people or Arab people. Baghdad became the repository and preserve of the rich cultural heritage of the ancient world. Now we have to see about the knowledge observed and assimilated by the Arab scholars from different civilizations. From Chinese civilization art of making paper, technique of making glass, use of marine compass. They have learned from the Chinese civilization. From Greek civilization they learn about geometry. From Persian civilization, means Mesopotamian civilization, astronomy. And then from Indian civilization, they have or the culture, they have learned about mathematical theories, medicine, astronomy, philosophy, and administration. Now we have to see that India and the Arab world, how they have interacted each other and how the Arab uh, people, the Muslim people, religious people, they have developed because they have learned from the China, Chinese, from the Greek civilization, Persian and Indian, so many things they have learned so that they have developed rapidly. The Arabs established several trade settlements on the western coast of India. Many of them intermarried and made India their home. Indian traders used Arab merchants, merchant ships to transport their goods to the western world. In exchange for Indian uh, Muslim uh, people, indigo, etc., the Arabs brought luxury items and fine Ara Arabian forces to India. Means now the uh, people, they uh, started to do trade for the commerce with the uh, Indians and then Arabs some of them had married to the Indian uh, Indian girls and they settled down in India. So the culture had been completely composite mixed culture and then uh, Indian uh, traders they exchanging with the Arabian traders from the India they, they were uh, Arab uh, traders buying Muslim paper, indigo, silk etc and the spices and in that place the Indian traders were buying uh, importing from the Arab a fine Arabian horses. 
Islam has spread to Southeast Asia through Arab traders. The old Hindu kingdoms of Malaysia and Indonesia declined and were eventually replaced by Muslim dynasty. Means Islam religion has spread and expanded into the world through the Muslim, Arab traders or Muslim traders. Like Hindu, uh, Hindu dynasties ruled in Malaysia and Indonesia completely declined and their Islam religion has been imposed and spread. India's con contacts and influence in these regions gradually waned in seven, 712 CE and Arab expand, expedition under Muhammad bin Qasim defeated the ruler of Sindh and occupied the entire province. The occupation of Sindh ended with the death of Muhammad bin Qasim. Means in 712 CE, a Arab ruler Muhammad bin Qasim defeated the ruler of Sindh. Now Sindh is in Pakistan earlier, it was a part of India and then settled down. But after his death, the, no uh, expansion of territories in India took place. The Arab school of Muhammad bin, sorry, not spread their influence to the other parts of India because the Rajputs were too strong for them. Means the Rajput rulers in mostly we get in the uh, in Rajasthan, part of Gujarat, they were very strong rulers. They so Arab rulers couldn't able to fight with them with these Rajput strong rulers. So they couldn't able to expand expand their territories in India further. According to some historian, the spirit of exclusiveness among the Indians made them uh, reject foreign culture influence. According to Muslim scholar Al Biruni, the Indian believed that no other country on earth but their ha theirs had any knowledge of science. Hence, they were generally generally not receptive to the rich treasure of Arabic learning and civilization. The Arabs on the other hand learned a great deal from the ancient Indian civilization, knowledge of Indian mathematics, medicine, astronomy, philosophy and art of administration were assimilated by the Arabs leading to the further in, uh, enrichment of Arab civilization and culture. Means the Arabs people, they have learned from the India about the mathematics, medicine, astronomy, philosophy and even the administration. And they became enriched of the Arab civilization and culture. Next we have to learn about in India how the, the Islam religion had spread by the next point we can read that is the Turks. By the 9th century CE, the power of the Caliphs declined and Arab Empire is split into number of independent kingdoms. Means the Caliph, the power of the Caliph had been completely end, declined, samapthoge. In that case, the Arab Empire is split, divided into small, small region. So many different, different kingdom, in independent kingdom became. During that time, two independent states established by the Turks in Central Asia were Ghazni and Gore Kingdom. Ghazni Kingdom had been established by Mahmud Ghazni and Gore Kingdom established by Muhammad Ghori. Muhammad Ghori, his successor only was a Qutub, Qutubidin Abba who had been later on uh, established Qutub Minar in Delhi. And these old two kingdoms lies now at present we can see in the border areas of Afghanistan, in the Gore on the 
टू ऑफ द नॉर्थ नॉर्दर्न पार्ट एंड देन काबुल एंड देन द गजनी किंगडम द बोर्ड आफ्टर द पाकिस्तान बोर्डर एंड द अफगानिस्तान द टर्क्स वे ओरिजिनली नोमेडिक ट्राइब्स हु अडॉप्टेड इस्लाम एज दे रिलीजन इट वॉज दे हु इवेंचुअली इस्टेब्लिश्ड ए मुस्लिम एम्पायर इन इंडिया वी नो द टर्स द मुस्लिम रूलर्स वे मोस्टली द नोमेडिक नोमेडिक मीन्स इन हिंदी वी कैन से खाना मधु दे वे रोमिंग अराउंड वन प्लेस टू अनदर एंड देन दे वे सेटल सेटलिंग डाउन सो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर आई एम वाइंडिंग यूर काइंडली गो थ्रू द लेसन थैंक यू